Okay, down back. And uh, <clears throat> got my, that didn't take just a second. But uh, let's see if we can uh, get back, get OBS back where it was a minute ago. Where's the rest of the program? There it is. Okay. Um, now we're back where we were, and of course I had to copy my. I knew if I, I was, I was almost certain that if I copied it being obfuscated like that, hidden, then uh, it wouldn't work. So, uh, you know, I copied it from YouTube, pasted it in here, and then I hit show them and look, saw that it looked right, and then uh, hit it again. Now I was streaming before when it worked at 2,500. Debating about whether, and I know YouTube says they want 3,000 to 6,000 now. I'm going to, since it worked at 2,500, I'm going to leave it like that, and then I can always raise it up. Now, I'm going to say estimate. Oh, you can't click estimate bandwidth. Well, what's it there for then? Okay, that's fine. Uh, next. Program is now executing a set of tests to estimate the most ideal settings. Testing streaming quarter. This, this might take a few minutes. Now, this is I think is very helpful because this will make it probably make should make it set up the best for your machine, you know, or at least get you a real good start. YouTube, primary YouTube, ingest bitrate. X264, stream encoder, recording quality, same as stream. That's what I want. Uh, 1920 by 1080. Output scaled resolution, 1280 by. Now, I always go ahead and do 1920. At least I thought I was. Huh. You know what? I'm going to leave it like that because what if that's what was wrong and I broke it by changing it? I really thought I was always streaming the same as I was recording. Uh, so let's see. And I have a faster internet than I've ever had, 200 down and 10 up. I did have 60 down and 5 up. Click Apply Settings. See if you're going to use these. I'm going to use these. I'm going to let it because – and then I'll change one thing at a time if I want to change anything. Okay, that's it. Now I'm ready. <coughs> I can actually try to stream because I'm not streaming right now. And I have, um, let's move OBS. I could try and move, let's see. I am so, see if I can move this to workspace 5. Yeah. Okay, that should be okay. Everything still looks like it's working. Should be. Okay, I'm going to move OBS to 1, where I always like to. It. Now, I've done these both at the same time before. I didn't pay attention. I can't remember what the number was. but uh, Okay, now I don't have any. I'm not going to import my scenes in case they're what's causing trouble. It did automatically put in my Cox 1, and that's my S58, and you can see that. I'm just going to set up one scene. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rename it right now, though. Desktop. That's what I'm wanting to do right now. And you got to add a source. Let's see. Can I remember what it is? Screen capture. I think is it. There is another. Yeah, there's video capture. No, that's device. Uh, window capture. Oh, which one is it? Screen capture or window capture? It's screen capture. XSMH, I think. I'm going to have to go look in one of those config files, I think, to figure that out. Can't remember. I think it's that one, but let's, uh, well, let's hit cancel until I look. Okay, I can figure that out. Now, there we go. We got an OBS Studio folder. So it's a brand new one. Uh, hopefully that, you know, will be uh, all right. Now, I'm going to look in my... Uh, scene collections and I'll just look at the newest one there and hit view I think I'll be able to read through it yeah okay desktop 
desktop audio. Let's go to the next one. Screencast. Yeah. Screen Capture X XSHM. That's what the desktop is. That's how you get the whole desktop, and it follows you wherever you go. If you do the window, you get to. I think you have to pick a window. And it only does one window and all that. So we don't want that. We want it to follow everywhere I go. Desktop. Or see, it says screen capture, but I named it desktop. That's why I knew to search for desktop. Yeah, I don't rename those unless I actually need to. Okay, there we go. 1920 by 1080, capture cursor, and I don't think I need any advanced settings. No, I don't. Okay, and of course you get the video feedback when you're on this. Now you still need, uh, oh, you don't need to add audio if you're using this. Only time I need to add audio is if I want to add audio from one of my cameras, you know, over the Wi-Fi. So I don't need to add any now. I'm not going to do anything there. Um, that should be it. Let's do a test recording. Well, let's exit in order to save our, now our profile is going to be called Untitled. We could rename it, but I think we'll do that later. And the, and the scene collection will be called Untitled. That's fine, and, and if I decide to rename it later, I will. I'm going to exit because that's what saves your settings, and then I'll open it back up. Yeah, while it's kind of making sure it gets exited. Yeah, we're still making a video. OBS closes really fast. It doesn't ever show in the system. Every other app, you can usually get over there and type it and see. You usually get over there and watch it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add it right back where it was by uh, going into sound and video, capture and import, OBS, right-click, add, and it, it'll just put it back there. Now I don't know why there's two of them. Why is there two of them? I'll click the one on the left. I'm gonna. Last time I it did that, and I thought it was just a fluke, but maybe because everything down deep in the program didn't get uh, deleted. But I don't know if one's different than the other. So let's see. Click that one and see. That's what we have now. Let's see if there's any difference with the other one. It's the same. So I guess I'm gonna get rid of that one. I don't know why. Just have a feeling. Okay. So, now, I'm going to start, rec well, might as well hit start stream. If it crashes, we'll know right away. Well, let's, let's make sure it records. Okay. Now, we're, we're testing recording, desktop recording on OBS Studio. And let's uh, get over here in the videos. We should be making a video right now, right there. Should be it think that is it oh because I forgot to go into the settings it's probably in my home directory yep there it is so you got to set that up but it is working so um, yeah that's all we need to know really okay now I'm going to stop it Got to go into the settings and set that. And uh, make sure it is. It does take just a little bit to kind of finish. See, I was going to move it. I won't move it till after I get done doing my settings and everything. I had my, my laptop went to sleep, but that's fine. <clears throat> oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a live stream, so I'll go ahead and open my browser over there on the laptop. For when I get ready now let's go ahead and do the settings and stuff I don't need to change all kinds of things as a matter of fact I'm not gonna change anything but where it goes you see the audio bit rates defaults to 160 but that always worked changing it didn't help recording path home dawn so I want to change that to the folder that I've made for it OBS Studio. All right. And 
then recording quality, same as stream. Okay, now then audio, stereo. Oh, I want desktop audio. Oh, it says default. I thought it said disabled. And yeah, and default for mics auxiliary. And now I can turn on my lapel. Why isn't it showing it? Oh, built-in and audio adapter mono. That's it right there. Hit apply. Now I should have my lapel showing up too. And I probably need to go better hit OK. Yeah, oh, I'm not going to have any uh, shortcuts. Dad, damn it. Okay, so I'll have to, well, with, with one little, you know, scene, that's okay. I think I better, I don't like my preview being smaller like that, but I really need to be able to see those, especially in this case. Okay, now, go back to the settings. And, and all that should be good. Okay, now I'm going to leave that and hit stream once, and then I'll, and if that, but uh, the output, which I guess that would be for uh, the recording, yeah, it would be the recording and the stream. Uh, but I, I, I don't think I've ever ran it like that. I think I've always changed it. I've left that on defaults, and that is set to 30, on, you know, from the beginning. I can do my hotkeys, actually. They're not hard to do. Mic aux, let's see. Yeah, mic aux, and uh, that's control four. That would be very helpful. I'm very dependent on those now. And what was, yeah, two. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and, can I test those right now? No, not while you're in that window. I hope I didn't set any others. No. Okay. If I'd have been in a window, it would have. Okay, I didn't set anything else. Okay, and then the advanced, I really don't mess with. I might have messed with it a little bit uh, when I was <clears throat> trying to fix things and I watched videos and, you know, saw how to do things and, there's only two things I can think of. Well, three counting the YouTube says it only takes 128 bit rate. Oh, where is that little box that says, uh, yeah, and no, not, yeah, I'm not, I'm in the simple mode. I'm going to leave it there too. Uh, generally, I use the advanced mode and there's more settings. Uh, generate a file name without spaces. I do like that. That's not going to hurt anything. There's, Used to be a box that said uh, "Obey the streamer," you know, like uh, what the streamer service wants. But I, maybe it's in the enable advanced. Oops, what did I just enable? Let's see. Yeah, well, we're just gonna leave that like it is. Yeah, leave it like that. That's what it does. Okay. Um, bit. Maybe they took that out. Well, it was there. This is the same version I had. I must be missing it. It must be somewhere. It's not there. It's not in that screen. It's either in the output or the... Uh, maybe you have to switch to advanced up here to see that. Enforce streaming service encoder settings. That's what I was looking for. Okay, but we're not going to do that this time because the uh, default was just like this. I think that's going to still be selected. You just can't turn it off is what I think. Okay, now again, to make sure all these settings got saved, I'm going to exit OBS. That's the only way I know to tell it to save its settings. Because uh, if it crashes, then you'll lose all what you just did. Yeah, I want to look at my little stream. Oh, Firefox went and 
updated on my laptop over there. I just realized that I hadn't got it uh, ready for me to see my live stream <coughs> when I saw that. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. So, I'm getting it ready so that uh, if the stream works, I will see it and I will, you know, I can, everything will work. Okay, so. Oh, that video. Now I'm going to move it to OBS. Okay, I think it always chooses. Uh, And I'll have those both open so I can see that they're both making videos. Now, normally I do a screen test and all that, but I'm just going to hit stream and see if it works. Since I've only got one scene. Uh-oh. Yep. I can see it was fixing the crash because it didn't, uh, it didn't immediately start. Well, I guess I didn't turn that on, but I forgot. It might not have been on to automatically, uh, so it has nothing to do with my settings. Now there was a little something from OBS. That's the first time I've seen anything still. Now see now the little deal pops up. I'm going to click on report Oops. and uh, see. I you know I haven't looked in lately. I especially haven't looked while making a video because I didn't have a way to make a video. Okay. Um, now let's say I was going to, I'm just going to look at the details. I still have never, for some reason I can't log in to report it, but, uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to look at this detailed report. <laughs> okay. So, well, it says killed by SIG, SIG. ABRT, that's automatic bug reporting tool. That's what this is. So I don't know what in the world that, why it would say that, but I've seen that in other things. So I don't know why it says that. And then a lib calloc crash function, lib calloc. I have searched on Google for that and never found anything that helped me. Um, executable, user bin OBS. So that's where it is. Package. You know, the version I just installed. Um, OBS Studio. And then, let's see. Well, I'm just going to kind of go through each thing. The backtrace. You can't search in this window, so you can't. And they get really, really long. So, uh, even if there's something in there that would help me, and I couldn't copy and paste them out of there either. So, if I could find where that's stored, then maybe I could actually search in it. That's just operating system info, op environment, environ. I know there can be some personal information in there. I don't think there's any, you know, like passwords in the clear text files or anything, but, but it does always ask you, do you want to show this is send this stuff out and it wants you to look through it. And it's a lot of junk to look through too. So, it, so they probably know you're really not going to read it all. It's not the whole thing, but that they give you to read when they say, this may have personal information, you need to look through that and agree. They're just covering their butts, you know. You need to agree to send this in. But if you're sending it to the Fedora developers, so, uh, you know, <clears throat> but at least at least that, you know, you're, you're not too worried. I'm not too worried. I mean, if they wanted to mess with you, they could anyway. <laughs> They're the ones writing the, the, the operating system and the software. So, DSOS. Yeah, that's 
lot. Yeah, see, there's a lot of lib so and so files. There's a whole lot of lib is kind of, I don't know. I would almost equate it to the executable, but it's not. I mean, lib is not. It's just a helper, a helper application for. It's it's different. Uh, for everyone, you know, it's some files are executable and some files aren't. You know, in in Linux, just like in Windows, but um, they can have a lot of different file extensions, like exe.exe in Windows. That's an execute. Well, there are other files that are executable too that run, like uh, CMD. And I can't think of a lot right now, but anyway, let's think about Linux. Um, so. Uh, Mount info, yeah, I don't see why that would. The only way I would have a have a, a hope of finding any accession errors flag. No, it doesn't say anything. I can see. I think I can really ha think I could have a hope as if I could get these files in a opened in a text viewer where I can search them or a log viewer where I can search them but uh, I think these are all yeah these are all different files so see these are all different messages from different areas see like right here var log messages now this is one of the ones that I kept wondering about and trying to figure out that's another one I searched on uh, connect slots by name no matching signal for on ADV audio props clicked now that's still doing that and then it says it was destroyed and then it says cut to custom context menu request I couldn't find anything on this period on online or in my system it's still doing it well I'll, I guess it, and it could be uh, what crashes it I don't know I mean it's still doing it uh, I thought it might have to do with my audio settings, you know, or or something to do with that. But it, you know, I changed them around some and looked at them, and I saw that really I didn't have them changed. Only thing I'd done is added the lapel mic. What's this? CPU info. Yeah. Okay. So um, that was actually was wider than I thought it was. You still can't get to the end of it, or maybe that is the end of it. Yeah, it might be. It just doesn't have any space after it. So, um, yeah, if I hit report, oh, this takes forever. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, it takes forever to tell you that it can't send it in. But see, it'll, uh, you can say show log, and it'll tell you what it's doing. Retrace is un unable to process. Oh, okay. Oh, probably because I uninstalled it. I'm just saying no because I don't want to do anything else. Get out of there. Okay. Now, um, looks like we're still working on our video. Okay. Um, now the thing I had thought up beside, you know, besides doing this, was trying the older version and seeing if it would work. And as I can do that. And really, that's the quickest thing I can think of to do. So I'm just going to try that. Do it again. I'm going to uninstall. And uh, let me see. I want to back up this profile just in case it. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to make that. Back one, I guess, and uh, go into the config folder OBS. I'm going to copy this over and then rename it to back two or BK2. And so, because I'm going to delete it again, um, actually, you know what? I think I may do. I think, yeah, I can. Put my old one back over there 
um, or just copy the contents from here to there, whatever seems to be the yeah. You know, probably be better to put this one back over there and then rename it. There. But I'll have to uninstall first, and then when I install the older version, yeah, that would be better than doing it. I think that would be better than doing it after I reinstall it. Yeah, because then yeah, because then it might not work right if I do it. Okay, so. See if hitting inner searches. I swear it was doing it the other day. Sure don't look like it. If it is, it's just taking an awfully long time. Yeah. Now it shows the it just it doesn't take long to search for OBS. Okay, now there's OBS Studio and there's OBS Libs. And they are twenty two oh three. And that is the only already lost its place but yeah that one there 2203 that's the one I just unselected so I'm going to uninstall that one and install the uh, older version and if that don't work then you know I can just leave it alone and it'll get updated but if it does work then I've got to figure out how to make it freeze at that version until things get fixed there we go again This will be the third time I've done this now. No, actually the second. Okay. <clears throat> kind of liked it when I was streaming a while ago, even though I was worried about the uh, stream breaking. Because I could look over there and see that I was working. I've got that stream. Well, it, it's not helping that I have that... Uh, Um, thing. I'll just shut the machine down now because if, if I do need it again oh I'm going to need it again in just a second okay well I'll close the browser I'll open it up again when I get ready that'll rest the machine a little bit I'm going to need it again just as soon as I get done with all this <clears throat> so uh, Uh, this is my favorite, well, I said that before, but this is my favorite uh, video app period, really. Um, it streams, it, re it records, it live edits, and uh, <clears throat> all the multiple audio video inputs you can do. And, and you can stream to your computer, or, you know, I stream with two cameras and I used to stream two cameras and one, and one audio feed on another phone, but uh, since that battery went bad, now I'm just plugging my lapel into the computer itself. But I use OBS. Has it has plugins? It has uh, filters. They call it. I have a noise gate and a compressor on the lapel through OBS, and then I have a real no, you know no, hardware noise gate and compressor through the, on the SM58. I, I would just plug the lapel into my mixer, but I can't find an adapter that gets the pin out right where it'll work. Uh, and my adapters that I have, and I have a lot. So anyway, that looks to be done. Okay, now. Uh, I don't think a reboot is necessary. Let's open that and see if... Uh, actually, no, let's don't... Uh, we're going to delete that. I'll put it in trash this time in case I check all of a sudden go, oh, no, I need it back. Make sure I'm not copying it into a folder or anything. I want the back one. And that uh, not only, uh, and I have to rename it, though, and get rid of the, call it OBS Studio. Now, when I reinstall the older version, it should... Yeah, it should uh, checking things here. It should. Um, oh yeah, I don't have that. <clears throat> well, let's do this and go to video. No way I can check in. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, now, when I install the older version, it should do well like it did last time when I left that folder in there. And I could have really left uh, this open but, so, since I'm not going to reboot. But I don't think rebooting is, <clears throat> well, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it could cause me trouble of, of trying to go backwards. I better, <clears throat> I could have a world of hurt installing that old one, trying to install that old one on top of the, uh, I just don't know what might be uh, being deleted or not being deleted in the, you know, user being, user share and all those places. So, I'm going to stop this recording, reboot the machine, and uh, start again. <laughs>